Alright. I am stuck. The triangle. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Adventurers, I reunited with my love, Juliet. Bitch! <laughs> Juliet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. We are back with the Plucky Squire, y'all. I haven't played this in a month or two. I think it's like two months or something. But I'm finally able here to play this game. We're going to be doing two chapters like the last time. According to my calculations, we only have three more parts left. This is a five part game. I knew this game was short, but I didn't know it was that short. We're just gonna get straight into it. Let's go. I think we already saw this. I'm not sure, but we can manipulate the book so we can get back in the book because we are 3D now. And they took us out the freaking book. So that's basically what's going on. There we go. Oh, here's Moonbeard. This game cracks me up because um, I think it was Mini Beard or something. It was a freaking DJ. Like that cracked me up. But literally, I'm going to beat this game tomorrow. I just got back and I'm going to beat it. Crazy. All right, let's jump in here. Go. I press enter. Hold it. I'm so sorry. Jot, my lad. Welcome back to Mojo. We have much to discuss. <laughs> chapter three. Yep. Moon Starting beard. chapter three. Moonbeard. This chapter is very short. So. Oh, he's the one, Moonbeard, that's like the DJ. Hmm, I seem to feature rather prominently in this chapter. Better put my best foot forward then. All right, let's see. Okay, music. Greetings, lad. Hey, Jot, glad you're back here in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. The answer to the first question is, Yes, I am aware of how cool these sunglasses look. That wasn't the question, but hey. The answer to the second question is, yes, our entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bruh. Bananas, huh? I've kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many a year. Somehow that greasy nincompoop hump grump found out. Very regrettable. But now he knows the truth. Who knows what mischief he's I have a hunch that big trouble is on the way. But that just means, young squire, that we must be double trouble. Follow me. We shall. First order of business. Getting in and out of the book. See that green sparky stuff over there? Yeah. Meta magic, that is. It lets you break the fourth wall. Which is another way of saying jump out of the book. Walk into the port portal and try holding the triangle button. What's a triangle button? I'm not entirely sure. But you should press it and hold it. How you don't know, but you know that I have to do it. Alright, I already know this part. Can these you can see me out the book? Testing. Oh he oh. Testing, testing. Uh-huh. Jot, I'm talking to you via Rune Tooth. What? I said Rune Tooth? You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like plants. We must keep hydrated. Use your page turning abilities to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. Manipulate. Let's turn the page and get him a drink. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Seems like you can use the L stick to turn page. Let's get to it then. All right. I'm trying to turn the page. Not turn the page. Oh, like. I have to bring it down though? You see that glow around the edges of the paper? That's the book telling you there's something useful on its pages. Oh, okay. Try jumping and seeing what you can find. All right, let's do it. Hold triangle, hold triangle. All right. We got a scroll. A concept art. Sketching how top down character interactions might look featuring the early Moon Bear design. Alright, we can't hit here. Oh, here's his drink. This is what he wanted. Alright, let's give him his soda. My fizzy pop. That would do very nicely. Head back here and drop off that pop. 
There's actually people that say call soda pop, which I find interesting. I call soda soda. So, I wonder why it's called pop. I know it's fizzy, but like, pop time. Ah, that's the ticket. Thanks, lad. Those turn goblins can be very handy, don't you think? I was the one that put them on the desk. I've stored a number of useful items out there, but there's one small problem. I'm not sure of their precise location. Bruh. Things get moved around. Sam is full of energy, you know? Chaos out there. When you need one of those items on a desk, you'll just have to search for yourself. Nice point of order. <laughs> Mini Beard. Yo. I heard you already met. Mini Beard is a tiny. So mo crumb of me, I created him to help out around the house. Oh, okay. He's quite helpful and rather good at puzzles, you know. If you're having trouble with a puzzle and you see him around, then I ask this his advice. There's a lot of wisdom stored in that tiny bearded head. <laughs> Jot, our land has never been troubled by something quite like hump or meta magic before. There may be great upheavals, upheavals and big battles ahead, but I have faith you'll rise to whatever challenges are thrown your way. You are the plucky squire after. I believe you. Always have, lad. Now expect that your you I expect that your friends are waiting for you. If you leave the book and turn to the next page, I think you'll find them. Thank you. Can I talk? No? Okay. Hopefully I didn't miss like a little collectible there. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna be playing this game again on my portal i did get a playstation portal i said i showed it on the second channel so oh we're back in here oh let's get it we've lost judd i can't believe it we should have just let him come up here by himself we should have had his back but what could we have done we're not warriors like him never have been never will be who will protect moja now that he's he's gone I will. I am back. God, dude, girl, right? Wait, you're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't. Thrash. Look at his face. That's his normal squidgy face. So happy to see it. Jot, where were you? Hello, gang. Moonbeard, is that you? Indeed, I'm talking to you via a device. Known as Runetooth headset. This is a strange magical form of communication known as a conference call. <laughs> oh, very exciting. Now listen up. This business with Hump Grump is rather worrying. I feel like I gotta bring my mic down. Like, is it in the way? I don't know. Yeah, my hair, my bangs are carrying my hair today. Gotta wash it. So. We must consult with Queen Chroma at Ardia City. You should head there now. Bruh. I've got some wizard business to attend and eat donut to eat. I'll join you kids later. Violent thrash, I'll find you in on the situation while you travel. Moonbeard, out. <laughs> Conference call? Well, you heard him. A trip to Archia, no, Archia City, my hometown. Oh, Chad, I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, let's scoot. Let's go. Oh, that's why I could have hit. My sword was gone. <laughs> We're back in business, baby. All right, can I hit these? All right, we can't hit these. Let's get out of here. And so our heroes set off to Artia City to visit the Artia good City. Queen Chroma. Ooh. Chapter four. Already. A treacherous <laughs> trail. All right, we left home tower. We're going to Sonnet Swamps. On the way to Artia, our heroes took a shortcut through the aquatic land known as
the sonnet swamps. Ooh. Ribbit. All right, we're here. Well, this is unknown territory, kiddos. Jot, your story has never taken you to this area. You're off script now. No happy endings guaranteed. You could get splatted, eaten by a huge frog. Who knows? Although these swamps are usually rather cultured, as far as I gather, the residents here are quite keen of poetry. If you ever wanted to hear a snail recite verse, here's your chance. Nevertheless, you bad reception. Moonbeard? Looks like Runetooth doesn't work so well in these swamps. I guess we'll get connected again once we're on the other side. Alright, so... This bug looks rather disagreeable. Okay. So, obviously we're not on script because that guy, we're supposed to beat him every time. And he ended up beating us. Because he knows he's in a freaking storybook and how the script goes. And he played us this time. No matter what, the plucky squire is supposed to win and he didn't win. Well, he defeated him, but... Not the way we expected. What is this? What did I just get? Oh, I just... Oh, the door open. Alright, let's go, guys. Whoa! Look at the size of that! Big, gnarly, uh, thing! Okay. Jump. Let's jump, guys. I was, like, confused. Like, I thought it was, like, a big frog or something. Green lighting shrug with fury sound. This insect's nest broke through the ground and then flew the bug. Really not a fan of these punky bugs. You can really talk to this thing. Snails are not bugs, by the way. We are mollusk. Big difference. But, you know... They're not gonna let me kill you, so. Oh, this place is big. Dang, this place is heaven with bugs. Or heaven? Heaven with bugs? My fault. What's that? Hello, little goblin. I have a task for you, my rotund purple friend, concerning that wretched squire. I booted him out of the book, you know, but he's a persistent little creep. He may still be out there with an eye on causing hump grip trouble. But you see, come up will bring the trouble to him. Take a shot of my meta magic and a leap through this pretty portal. Set yourself free of these pages. Oh, bully, that wretched pest. Mm. Oh, he's going. But is he going out the book? He's going out the book. We gotta get him. He's gonna mess with the kid's stuff. Okay. Bam. Okay, I can't jump down there, but somehow I hit him. He's still trying to jump over here and get me. Easy kill. Should've just mind your business. Can we jump over these things? No? What are even are those? Just gonna get these because we get like lightning bolts and all that. Is there nothing in here? Alright. Oh, wow! You shot right at me. And now I know. Nothing here. Ew. Alright, give me help. Let me just get rid of these. This, this. This helps us. If you guys forgot, because we haven't played in a while. This helps us get stuff in the shop. If I remember correctly. Alright, let me get this help. Boom, boom. Right, I need to open this door. I think the way to the key has to be that thing, so. So, this must be one of the porters Moonbeard was talking about. And you, Jot, can't you just jump right out of our world through this thing? Onto a desk in someone's room? Crazy stuff, man. And on that desk is a storybook? In which we're all living? I'm a character in a story? My whole <gasps> life is just a plot line? Sorry, it's just a bit too much to take on board. 
Although it figures that I'm just a supporting character in someone's story. My story. The plucky story. I just wish I'd be written a little more cool. Aw, oh, man. He vanished. He must be in the other realm now. I wonder if he still sees us. I guess to him, we look like drawings on a storybook, I guess. Gnarly. I wonder, can I teleport? I could teleport over here. Can I go and get this thing, though? Where'd he even go? Oh, it looks so brave in there. Oh, so... Okay, he wasn't really causing trouble. I'm just gonna go back in the book. Alright. I'm gonna go this way, because I don't know how we're gonna cross. Very interesting indeed. You still got me. You gotta go now. How dare you? You should have more help. I don't care. Y'all gotta drop some help for me. Yeah, I lose health being that dumb goo. This makes me slow though. We open the door. Okay. Got more help. Can I, like, go up here? No, I can't. Okay, we'll find way, I guess. Alright, up here. There's a key. That's what we need. Take this. Now right, we gotta hold this stuff. Get rid of these guys. I didn't know those guys like auto aim wherever I go. I thought they just shoot in one direction and I could die. Okay. Get rid of these dudes. And you. Alright, okay, so we're gonna take this key and bring it to the portal. Okay, that sounds about right, cuz. It's looking like a dead end. Just need this for loot, y'all. Need to buy some stuff. Okay, so we're gonna take this and go back over there. Oh, I could ju I could come down here. You can't even tell what that is right there. All right, so that thing shouldn't be our problem since I destroyed it. It probably would have chased me here. Who knows? All right. Back in our world again? As simple as that? I really wonder what it's like out there. I don't know if you guys will know. I don't know. But nothing's written. Nothing's going as planned as a book, so you guys probably can come out here. Outside the book. Alright. Ooh. This part almost got me killed. Like, how? Are you... Why are we jump so high? Yeah, I don't like going in these, like, super dark caves. It almost got me killed last time. Because it's like, no light. Like, I need light. And these guys just, like... Get me out of here so quick. Get away from me. Get away from me. How did you take my help? Ooh. You just gotta make sure they're dead. Get away from me. Back up. Sound cute. But you're deadly. Bye bye. Thank you. Get me out of there. That was pretty easy. I didn't care about defeating all those other ones. Huge bug sat in the middle of the path. Humongous bug. That's like... That looks... Humongous bug looks like it's full of water. If it wasn't so huge, we can get around it and be on our way. Alright, let's see. What do we do? A tiny frog observed the bug. Bro, what? Do we have to change these words around again? Because I don't know what that means. 
Oh, Mini Beard is right there. Or right, we need to get out of this book, it seems. Let me go this way. These wounds are just full of bugs. Yeah, replace these words. Get these guys out the way. Alright, that opens that door. And then, can we like, okay, we can't get to that lever. We're gonna get this word out and we're gonna replace it. We can replace it over there. We just gotta make it make sense. Um, why would we, the rusty gate was closed. Let me just see what's going on here. Can y'all start jumping everywhere? We can go down here. I just don't get how they touch me sometimes. Seriously. Can we jump? No. Okay, this is the rest of the gate. The moat was completely drained of water. All right, let's take clothes. I don't know how. Yeah, we need a yeah a tiny frog. Observe the bug. Let me get that out of there. In full. All right, let's just see what happens here. We're right, out of here. These ruins were just... The mode was completely drained of water. Should I got a word. All right. Can we take that? All right, Jane. The mode was completely closed of water full. What about full? Can we do that? Full of water. But what is the moat? What is that? All right, let's put four here, I believe. We gotta hit it. it was full. Boom. So I think we could pass. Pick this up. I should have got my other word. Okay, Drain, you just stay right there. I'm trying to do something. Now the door is open and it should suck the water in. Took full out. I guess drain the water. Boom. So I'm gonna take this and then put you a drain bug set in the metal middle of the path. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Right? Or we could put a tiny bug. I would say drug because he, you know, he has like a whole bunch of water in him. If we drain him, we still gonna get tiny. There we go that in the middle of the path he's drained but he's still in the way all right put drain back let's go down here let's see if we could do anything because mini beard is basically saying i could do something here jod peered into the open yes. can i go in here eh. gotta go here to get open that's all we needed and they just made that impossible All right, now we can get the word tiny. Let's, can we throw that? Oh, we cannot. Gonna go put tiny so he can move. Goodbye. There we go. <sighs> Goodbye, tiny insect dude. Awesome job, Jot. You really got a grasp on the power of words. It's all just amazing, really. He used the tiny fool to empty. By changing the words, you can change, well, everything. I guess the story in this in this book really isn't fixed, huh? I guess not. Maybe the story's characters are not so fixed either, you know? Hmm. All right, that took a little time, but that's okay. Good job, guys. We meet again. Care to take a look at my current selection? All right, I'm gonna get us grow. That's actually cool that they let us like have this spin attack. Ooh, spin! All right. Oh, many beards there. The walkway was destroyed. If you turn the pages, you might retrieve a useful word—a word that can get you across this slimy, swampy water. 
Why not give it a go? Something to do at least. That's actually smart. A tiny lily pad floated on the water. On the water? Alright, why don't we get huge? Nipulate. That is so cool. No, no, no. It's telling me something I need here too. See the edges? Alright, I need the word huge. Where did I put... It might just be like out of bounds. There it is, huge. All right, let's go back and get the word huge. I actually want to test something out before I go back, so. Grab this word, take this, and then I want to see if the frog gets big. A huge frog, wow. It's actually a trophy. This word up. And put you down. How big will it get? Whoa! That's really big. I'm just gonna take the word tiny. And let's see what's over here. Oh, these things sleeping. Well, get up. It's time to get up. These are the things that like, are in that like dark area. It's like super dark that keep hitting me. So they have to go. It's what they deserve. We'll just get these stuff real quick. My apologies. I could be able to buy some items later. Did I even take the word tiny? Can't go over there. Ah, whatever. Let me get it. Auto walk me there. It's fine. We can always go back. Look over there. A poor, blippery, floundering fish. Oh no. Jot cleared his mind. Now he was ready to grab the fish. Hmm? What is going on? I'm supposed to press something. Ah! Why did they give me controls? Thank you! Why was that so hard? Fish grabbed. The plucky squire gently released the fish into the water. And there it regained its composure. Well, they are kind of like hard. I guess they are hard. They just flip around all over the place. Phew, thank you so much, noble traveler. My name was Flotillo, and I am a fish. Green lightning stabbed me right out of these waters. Consumed by fear, I flip. Block. Two, by your hand, my fugue was stuck. I am eternally in your debt, but you must forgive me. I must. Poor my beloved swims this reedy fin. And I cannot rest till we meet again. Safe travels, my noble saviors. Okay. I like that little rhyme there. What an extremely well-spoken fish. I do hope he finds his love. Oh. I didn't know I could move. My fault. I think she was going to say something else. Our heroes ventured on. The sounds of the daytime chorus began to fade, mm. and the light began. We're gonna to need dwindle. that word later. Yeah, we're gonna need that word for this. It was now night in the swamps. The swamps are kind of moody at night. Check out those singing frogs. Sweet harmony. Huh? Guess what? It's not gonna be nighttime anymore. Okay, they're like in the way. Let's just see what we can do in the night real quick. Kinda in the way. See what we can capture. They look like they are asleep. 
the bridge was broken. Can't go nowhere else. All right, let's manipulate and turn this page and get the word daytime. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. It says daytime. It sounds a like nighttime chorus begin to fade. Let's see if we change it. Does something change? I don't think it will because it says fade. So that like wouldn't make any sense. It was now daytime in the swamp. All right. Oh, oh, so they go to sleep in the daytime. Oh my god. Not paying attention. Interesting, that's different. What is this? Probably to keep this door open. Let's go put it right there. Yeah, we're just gonna put it right there. We'll we'll see use of it in a second. When night becomes day, the froggy shuffle backwards. But if you push the block behind one of them, it have no space to retreat into. Worth a try. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. Oh, I don't think I have to mess with these guys. As for right now. Solid. And where is this? This has to go over there, right? The bridge was solid. That makes, like, no sense, I think. my opinion okay wait this is open free loot yeah. oh, we got a scroll too let's go so apparently i can move this here this looks like this can't even fit there it, it doesn't even look like it fit there. Look how snug that is. Alright, so you gotta move. Like, it wasn't making any sense. When I think about this game, puzzle fade. Alright, so if I put him here. Can I bring this like up here too? Just curious. Or right here. But then he's, I can't jump over that. Unless I can move it. I can move it though. But then this guy's gonna be in my Not really. He's not gonna be in my way. Because I could just change this back to daytime. He can't move. I don't know why you gotta move. First off, oh, he doesn't move. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, finally we have made it. <laughs> that was a little confusing, I'm not gonna lie. Ugh, not this. Anything but this. I see Billy went back. Okay, that's kind of cool. Gotta time it right, though. Alright, so how are we gonna get over there? It seems like I could just, like, bypass this. Alright. This is not open, now. Oh, they're making it difficult. I bring you here. You can open this door for us, sir. I just don't want him to throw it. Why are y'all shooting? 
Look at this. I hate these guys. At least give me a heart. That was a very tight area. Thank you. Get me out of here. Okay, we activated that. I thought it was gonna like deactivate. Let me not jinx it. Just get out. Go, just go, just go, just go. Great. I need to go get that block. I'm done. Just leave. <laughs> just go. Please just go. Adventurers, maybe you can help. Our house is full of flying bugs. Please kick out those insectoid thugs. You bet we will, snail dude. Fire, restore it. There, looks mighty sharp, but if you want to walk with those buzzing pests, a long range weapon will serve the best. The best. Mm, there may be something around here. A long range weapon, huh? Let's take a little. <laughs> Gander. Oh, Gander. Hmm, there's something logged under the water. Maybe I can dislodge it with a little bit of magic. I can never quite get this kind of thing to work. But well, I suppose there's a first time for everything. Guys, uh, maybe best if you stood back. Okay. Here goes nothing. Mmm. Holy guacamole! It actually worked! Oh, uh, I mean... Ta-da! Cool, huh? It's a big log. Not really a long-range weapon. Unless you threw it. Alright, let's check it out. A portal. You know, I get the feeling there won't be a weapon just lying around in the swamp. I mean, have you ever seen a snail rocking a crossbow? I haven't. But maybe you could find something out there in the other well. Alright. A long weapon? Look at this place. As long as I don't get attacked by beetles. Oh, goodness. We gotta get a card. Alright. This is gonna be a lot of work. Let me at least get these. There's a different sound effect, too. Hmm. To say, oh, yeah, they're like trees, trees and bushes. There we go. That is so creative, just in the real world. All right, I am stuck. Okay, what was that? I don't know. I feel like there might be something under this dude. No, too easy. Alright. I have no idea where we go. He was just showing a bunch of new areas here. Hmm. Oh, there's an arrow literally right in front of my face. Right. Word up. It's me, Mini Beard. Or to give you my full name, my talking Mini Beard. I'm a toy based on the character Mini Beard from the book, The Plucky Squire. It's all a bit meta, but my advice is very practical. If you're looking for a long-range weapon, there is an el elven warrior around here who knows one, who owns one. She lives in a game cart. Head upwards to find her. She might try and shoot you with arrows, but that, but don't take it personally. All right, a card is gonna hit me. How can I just shut? We meet again once more. But alas, it seems that danger is on the horizon. Sonic Swamp's least desirable have extracted ext ext okay, um, themselves from the book. But it does at least appear that you are suitably equipped. Eradicate these invertebrate with Alright, bookworm. Bye bye. Talk too slow. Alright. Gotta stop that. Actually, looks really cool with 3D. 
You need to back up. Can't even jump on him? This is madness. Right, I need to get that, but let's talk to Mini Bear. How do you need. How do you need to head upwards? You'll want to find a block to climb onto. I'm sure there's one around here. I'm very sensitive to the proximity of plastic blocks. It's a family trait. Alright, whatever. Oh, this. Is there anything in that corner? There is. What is that? A scroll. Area yeah. scale in town. And this game looked crazy different. But let's just put that, I guess, right here. Where it says, hey. Alright. I was like, how do you jump up? He takes his time climbing up. I'm tired of y'all taking my help. Shooting. Crazy. In the freaking drawing. Alright. Thank you, sir. Alright, we're gonna need this, apparently. This will, like, like, boom, like a trampoline. use that for somewhere else. Well, we're just gonna use it for that. Then they drop some health, please. Almost there. Got this shot. Ah, please. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. It's fine, though. We've been through worse. This is a very tight spot. What do we do with this? It's a triangle. Oh, wow. How cool is that? How cool is that? Get these trees. Still looking for some help. I don't want to drop a heart in the real world. They're not dropping no heart. That's crazy. No hearts. Greetings. You'll need a key to get through that castle door. I think I saw one around the side of the castle. Try exploring the sketches on the wall. Exploration, that's the key. You're finding the key. Alright, I can't go through there because I don't have that open and I can't go through there so we're going through here and I'm gonna get hit immediately still waiting for a heart all right so you know that opens that because if you defeat everybody it opens go down boom boom we're gonna go through here and the key should be here where does this go not these things. Sorry, dude. No. I need that key. They're shooting me. I'm not taking help. Good. Alright. The key just got so rusty in the real world. Oh. What the... We made it, lads. Got a scroll too. Yeah. Sometimes it's useful just to draw a whole lot of enemies without too much thought as to how they'll be used. You can pick the ones you like afterwards. Got a pencil sharpener here. Alright, we need to get up. 
I'm taking this with me. Just sit in here. Okay, let me just see what's over there. Alright, dropping you. Why do you throw it that freaking far? Alright, hold on, mini beard. Is there something down there? There is. All right, now, good adventuring. Keep it up. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna need that. Huh. You know I can go right here? All right. Oh, shoot. Can go here, bring that back. I don't know, I didn't see the pathway. I wasn't looking, I guess. Take this here and bring it this way. We never need to go up there. I don't know why it was so difficult that time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why is everything falling? What's happening? Get me out of here. Oh, look at, look at the card. What's this? Another intruder? I can see a thieving gleam in your eye. Whoa. Show me what you got, rascal. Uh... <laughs> what the heck? Talk. Shot, try talking to Alnia. Now is not the time for words, but for battle. You will not soon forget the song of my era. Alright, guard. Jot takes a defensive potion. Use arrow strike, Jot receive damage. Alright, slash. Attack miss. Attack miss. Fight. Stab. Of course I got hurt. Didn't forget the... I do not converse with scat. Feathering your top quivers with fear. Alright, let's guard. Alright. Did not have this bolt that you have. Let's slash now. Of course. Why does my slashes not work? We're gonna die. He always like... I guard it. He has a lot of health. I'm dead. Paige. Jod, it is I, Paige, the bookworm. You seem to be in a desperate predicament. Let me revive you. Revive you. Paige cast him as a spell. Okay. Your vitality is restored. I may have boosted up your offensive ability. Alas, Jod, that was a one time spell. I cannot. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be hard. This sorcery matters not. I saw the special you launched for our battle on. Alright, let's guard. But you still gonna hit me. Brutal slash. We're taking better damage. Rushing stab, she's gonna leave. Nope. I don't care, you can hit me. Let's do that. Let's do that. That takes a lot of damage. Still, you persist, intruder. Oh, spell protection. Her defensive power rose. I will destroy this elven bow before I give it to you. Elves will never let their weapons be used for evil purposes. You can tell 
that to your boss. What was his name now? Ah, uh, yes, Humcrop. Paige, Josh, did you hear that? It seems that she has erroneously identified you as an agent of Humcrop. We must talk to her, John. The former of the truth. I think I can reproduce the spell that she cast to buy us some time. Okay. Let's try to talk to her. And now, let us finish it. I'm up into my boss. Let's stop all this fighting business. I'm up into my boss. You expect me to believe that? Ooh. Really? I'm up into my enemy. Your enemy? Well, what do you mean? Ooh. On a quest to defeat him. You mean you are not his underling? Most assured, not. Jada is a champion of, of this land, striving to defeat the dastardly Humgrub and put a stop to his mischief. Okay. Is that so? Now that I take a closer look at him, he does seem to have somewhat. You already count. Alnia, we wholeheartedly apologize for the disturbance we have precipitated. We are searching for a weapon to help clean Grump Pump. Your, your elven bows seem like it could be advantages. What are is these even words? Advantages in that regard. But we did not mean to cause any turmoil in your fort. I have decided I shall lend the elven bow to you. Any enemy of Homegrown is a friend of mine. I can't see the aura of good about you now. I can't. Or can't. You received the elven bow. Exceptional. Did all that for that bow? That girl was not believing us. Has she disappeared? No, she's here. When the bow has finished assisting you, it will return itself to these forests. Good luck on your quest, Jot. Young Jot, our battle was most braced. I'm out of here. Ugh, here comes the slow bookwormer. You got the bow. We made a good tag team, don't you think, Jot? So it seems that Humgrum's forces have made their way outside of your book. These does not bode well. Here, jump into the sticky note. You'll be able to get down to the desk and back to your book. All right, they're waiting for me. I know they've been waiting forever. Hey guys, I'm back. John, welcome back. Did you get what you were looking for? Yes, I did. The elven bow. There we go, lad. Go wallop them. Be careful in there, adventurer. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. I don't receive the bow. How do I activate it? Bugs. <laughs> Jot read it the elven bow. It was time to put its powers to the test. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. The bow is so realistic compared to him because that girl was in a freaking card game. Is that a step back? Look at his arm. This is a very, very unique game. Oh, baby, step back. You're coming a little too close to me, lad. Jot drew his bow back as far as he could. Uh. There we go. And shot that creature right in the eye. Y'all wanna go? Just gotta get y'all out of here. There's so many bugs. All those arrows I'm putting. Stop this madness. I'm 
gonna step back. No, do not touch me. Yeah. Whew. The lucky squire had squashed the bugs. That was crazy. Thank you for the bottom of our mollusk heart. That's not the last of those bugs, though. We had word there are more ahead. Let's say that Lita is big, horrible bug with flashing eyes. Have your wits about your adventurers, and good luck. You're a treasure, lad. Nibble nibbles. Such pluckiness I have never seen before. What a story. This be our house saved by the pluckiness. You said unpacking. You're a good on. Bye bye. I never get those barrows. You always go back, right? He reached Snailford upon a bond. A nice peaceful town. At least it was. As we go in. Ooh. And it's closed. Is that the famed Lucky Star? Most unexpected for us to find you in these lands. We really we read all your books and thrilled at your adventure. We don't get to adventure much ourselves. The snails. Did. I once fell in the hole. But but I suppose it's nothing compared to your escape, but these you write about them so egg so I don't know these huge words. I'm a big fan of your work. Perhaps oh perhaps you can help us. Those horrible bugs have thrashed our town and stolen works of great renown. Namely, the two value collector works of Shell Spear. Lucky Squire, please defeat the bugs and get those two books back to us. Snail friends, we're on the case. Leave it to us. Alright, guys, let's do this. Y'all gonna have to stay right there. Talk about they on the case. You not going nowhere? Okay, this looks very busy. There are 10 bugs here in this western nook. Defeat them all to collect that book. All right. All right, there, okay, so let's just take this word. If you want to be getting up there, getting up to the raised platform on the left there, a little staircase might get you up. If only that pushable block were shaped more like a set of steps, huh? Just imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Take this guy. There was a stone staircase? Does that work? Ooh. Okay, we gotta put this here. Grab this, because this is gonna... This don't even look like a stone, if I'm being honest. Just need to see something real quick. He's chasing me. Give me some help. Thank you. You banished those bugs. You're just as brave as I imagined. Lucky Square? I've been rescued by a celebrity! Alright. Then we're gonna change these words up. Okay. Alright, the party's over. And I lost health. Finally, I got some full health. You saved my shell, thank you. Like a hero from Shell's spear play. Lucky Squire has saved the day. What the heck is this? Is that a statue? I can't get that health. I'm kind of mad about that. All right, let's get the word block. What a great carved block. Eh. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, probably so we can get up there. Right? 
Dang, one hit took you out? Thanks for taking care of those pesky bugs. You are so very welcome. Splendid work. Thank you. Let's pick up this book. Let's take it here. That side is saved. I think we put the books there, right? Finally one return, all thanks to you. Now there, here's a key to retrieve book two. Ooh. Well, if it isn't a brave warriors with a sharp eye for good deals, I've got some new stuff. Okay, we're good. Okay, that too. Art scroll, yes. I thought we already saw it. Oh, it's a different one. All right, we got enough. All right, so this is go here. What's up there? Guess we'll see later. It really closes back? So, my insect spies tell me. The wretched squire is at large in these pages again. And these very swamps. Most displeasing. No doubt he and his miserable friends are on their way to our shop. Well, I'll soon put an end to their adventures. I'll summon up some squire killers. Some rushing, crushing caterpillar. These caterpillars are rather aggressive. Can't take a word out. Okay, this is kind of crazy. Do I just need to get like the main host? Okay, that's gonna be kind of crazy. Give me Princess Peach Showtime. All right, what, the smaller they get, the, the faster they get. Right, you gotta go. What? Thank you for that big freaking heart. Those explosions go a long way, apparently. No, you don't. This is crazy. And they give us a lot of help there. Could have took the word out too. Can't talk to them. They good. Gonna be get these help. Kind of mad about that. I could have used that, you know. You blessed those caterpillars, man. <sighs> Both values are now back safe and sound. We are eternally grateful. We will thank you with a special performance. Oh. Oh, for me, Sapphire, that would ascend the brightness heaven of invention. Uh. A king of her estate, princes to act, and monarchs to behold as well and seen. Hello. Uh, been waiting ages to say my big line. Bravo! You snailed it. That's actually funny. Now, brave adventurers, exit stage left. Which will be your right. Fair thee well. I was like, isn't that right? <laughs> That's fine. We did it. Bye bye, snails. Don't 
tread so loudly. The boss bug will hear you. Uh, oh. Whoa, can you see those? Those buggy looking eyes? You mean the ones that are rapidly getting bigger and bigger? Oh shoot, he's getting closer. <gasps> um, I told you, you can't have tried so loudly. It's always feet that are causing trouble. I don't think you care. Let's go. I'm gonna get my friends back. Hey, he literally disappeared with them. Yeah. Alright, we gotta get them back, y'all. With great caution, you must spread. There's a buzzing brood in the nook ahead. Alright, let me see him. I got an arrow. Jock could hear the big buck through the entranceway. He readied his bow. It was time to finish this once and for all. Boss fight with the bow. Right. They really, he really, okay. It's like a ha okay. This dude got his back turned. Oh, throw him. Great. That held anyway. You thought so, huh? Yeah. You thought so. The bug was bestie. Yeah. Yeah. The bloody squire triumphant. Legend. Amazing, John! You wielded the elven bow magnificently, plucky squire. It served you well, and now I must return to the forest. Bye! I'll use it for a little. Magical bow. Will I never? The exit from the swamps lies ahead. If you ever return, you'll be happily welcomed back by all its residents. Well, apart from the buck. You destroyed all of them. <laughs> really cracking job. Farewell, young adventurer. get out of here. Whew, we survived the swamps. You know, Moonbeard said Jod was off script here, but it turns out off script doesn't have to mean certain doom. Nope, we figured it out, we improvise. Improvisation, I dig it, like a drum solo. Or a free roll, free form plane team. Sounds quite cool, doesn't it? Adventurers, I reunited with my love, Juliet. Bitch! <laughs> Juliet. Flotillo. Told me all about how you rescued him. We thank you for the bottom of our hearts. <laughs> what lovely fish. I'm so glad they found each other. They look so happy together. Now come on, let's get at him. Juliet. <gasps> that is Finally, so funny. Our heroes were out of the swamps. The sun on their faces felt most pleasant as they continued on their way.
After some time, they arrived. At Artia. Artia, finally. Ooh, this place looks... Literally, it's name Artia. We should be on the next chapter. Chapter five. Yes. Artia. Let's get it. Oh, that's pretty. We have made it to Artia. This is pretty. Here we are. Home sweet home. Greetings, game. Sorry we lost contact in the sauna and swamp room two coverage is still rather limited. Anyway, glad you weren't all devoured by leeches. I'm on my way to Archer City. I'll join you shortly. In the meantime, stretch your pins. Take a look around. Moon Bear out. Huh? Is that the Mona Lisa? Violet! Is this your sister? You're looking all smudge. I mean, more than usual. What have you been up to now? Hey, Mom. Oh, that's her mom. Uh, well, we've been, you know, adventuring. Hey, Miss Lightbrush. <laughs> uh, yeah, things have got pretty gnarly. Humpgrub is up to some kind of Humpgrub mischief. Always is that one. Well, it's good to see you all, including you, Jot. I read your latest adventure. Quite the page turner. The bit where you leaped over the... Mom, just heard it already. All right, all right. Violet, listen, your Uncle Umber got himself in a pickle. Sounds like he needs some help. Could you go toss him? Huh? It figures. Okay, mom. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm seeing the Mona Lisa here. I'm dead. All right, guys. We're going to stop the part right here. We have three more parts left of this game. This was very fun. We got rid of those dumb bugs. I can't believe you see the freaking Mona Lisa here. But guys, we're going to continue. Absolutely love this game. It is so fun. But guys, I will see you guys in the next.